Nikitan of 7th class. Today I am here to give you a presentation on Chandrayaan 3 on the occasion of National Space Day. Today is our National Space Day. But why do we celebrate National Space Day? The reason behind this is on this prestigious day, our prestigious Chandrayaan 3 successfully landed on the moon's south pole. It is an impossible task for any space agency, but it's so made it. Sri Dr. Vikram Saraba is the founder of ISRO. He thought that countries like USA, Russia are launching their rockets and sending satellites to space. And he got an idea. Why should not India have their own space agency? So he convinced Sri Pandit Jawahal and Nehru and successfully started ISRO. ISRO has fallen on August 9, August 15, 1969 in the hands of late Sri Pandit Jawahal and Nehru. ISRO's first name was INCOSPAR, Indian National Committee for Space Research. Later on, it changed to ISRO. Sri Dr. S. Somnath is the current chairman of ISRO. On January 15, 2022, he took charge as the chairman of ISRO. He made an intelligent idea for Chandrayaan 3 to make it a successful mission. Chandrayaan 3 is a lunar moon mission done by ISRO after, ch after the failure of Chandrayaan 2. This prestigious mission was launched on 14th July 2020 to 2023 at 2.45 pm from launch pad 1 of Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sriharikota, Nellur, Andhra Pradesh. ISRO has followed the route of Chandrayaan 2, but it had done some changes regarding to the landing site, routes, etc. Here is the picture about Chandrayaan 3 completing its last orbit in earthbound maneuvers and ready to ready to go, ready to shift in lunar transfer trajectory to moon. Here the orbiter successfully separated the Vikram lander and Vikram lander started its journey. Here the Vikram lander is going down to scan the lunar surface and attempt a soft landing on the lunar surface. Chandrayaan 3's rocket is LBM-3, Geosynchronous Launch Vehicle Mark 3. Here is a picture about LBM-3. The separation stages of LBM-3. First, the S-200 solid rocket booster separates and L110 liquid stage separates. Then, payload fairing is occurred and after C-25 shutoff, the Chandrayaan 3 spacecraft is successfully deployed from the rocket. Payload accommodation, the rocket will close the Chandrayaan 3 spacecraft and the Chandrayaan 3 rocket thrusting and after C2 first shut off, the Chandrayaan 3 spacecraft is separated. So the scientists have attached the orbiter to the Vikram lander. The Vikram, uh, the Vikram lander, uh, the Chandrayaan 3 is refilling its fuel and the, so finally it's refilled. And it's ready for a payload accommodation. Payload accommodation is taken uh, through a lorry and uh, to the on the in the workstation. The, the Chandrayaan 3 uh, uh, spacecraft payload accommodation is kept on the top, and successfully the rocket is uh, with the heavy engine train. It is carried to the launch pad one to, to be launched. Ch Chandrayaan 3 payload lander horizontal velocity camera. This is connected to the orbiter and by the landing tank it will give a full video of landing of landing of Chandrayaan 3. Cam and altimeter. It is used to detect altitude and velocity down by the landing of Chandrayaan 3. Chest. It is used to detect the temperature in depth on the, uh, on the moon surface. Rapa LP is a 5 cm metallic probe. Rapa LP is a 5 cm metallic probe and it will detect natural plasma present on the lunar surface. Rapa LP detected 5 to 30 million electronic ions present on the present on the moon, which is very less, very less compared on the lunar surface. Chest. Chest will uh, uh, detect the temperature in depth on the lunar surface or of the lunar soil. There is a variation of temperature on lunar surface with increasing depth. At the top soil, the temperature is 60 degrees, which is too hot. And in just, in just 8 cm, the temperature changed to minus 10 degrees centigrade. It's a 
shocking thing in lunar surface. Here the front views of the Vikram lander, laser altimeter. In case of the camera and altimeter would not work, it will it will draw a small quantity of laser to the soil to detect the altitude and velocity. It is a throwable liquid engine. It is filled with nitrogen gas and while the landing it will thrust and slowly it will make the project the Vikram lander to soft rather the soft landing on the moon. Lander leg is modified more than the Chandrayaan 2 because of the failure of Chandrayaan 2 lander hazard detection avoidance program. The Vikram lander will scan the landing site but it may not scan the rocks present on the moon. So this will take the whole photo pictures of the landing site, is it uh, uh, safe to land or uh, hard to land? When the landing time, the display of parameters the, and uh, the photos are taken by this payload. Star sensor. Star sensor is used to detect the temperature around the lunar surface. LRA. LRA is an antenna which is connected to Pragyan. What data Pragyan sends, uh, it will send to the orbiter and orbiter to the ISRO's base and uh, it is have a uh, 500 meters 500 meter base, like 500 meters radius, and ILSA payload. ILSA payload is used to detect the uh, moonquakes occurred in moon and uh, to know more about the lunar crust and mantle. Here are the Pragya instruments and payloads. Solar panel. Solar panel will take the energy coming from uh, the sun and it will send to differential warm electronic box. RXTX antenna, a receiver and transmitter antenna. The, the information which it gets from our, uh, the Pragya is uh, taken by the RHTX antenna and sent to LR. Solar panel hinge. It works uh, like our hinge joint. Navigation cameras. To navigate with the Pragya rover and uh, when, uh, when, when there is a difficulty uh, or uh, some lunar craters is occurred in front, it will, it, will, nah, it will take the photos of the difficulty. Chassis. Chassis is the material which is used to, which is very strong and used to keep the Pragya safe from small rocks moving. Solar panel holder. Lunar, on the lunar surface, the rocks move continuously. When the sensor will detect that rocks are coming to, uh, near to it, it will, without distance instructions, it will close the uh, RHT antenna and solar panel. Wheel drive us again. It is used to know about the conditions of the wheel of the Pragyan rover. Rocker bogey. Rocker bogey is used to make the Pragyan uh, wheels to move up to a, a height of 55 millimeters on the rocks. And rover holder. If there is any difficulty or a lunar crater that comes in front of the Pragyan, without distance instruction, it will hold the Pragyan. And warm electronic box. It will help uh, in order to make the Pragyan keep warm. Differential. It is connected to lip sparer to release the laser on the ground. APXS, Alpha Particle Excess Spectrometer. It will uh, detect the radioactive plasma present on the moon with the help of a radioactive source. Clips, laser induced to break down spectroscope. It will release a high temperature laser on, on the moon which forms into plasma and a spectroscope will uh, uh, detect the wavelengths coming from the light to know more about the elementary components present on the moon. Here, here, here the Pragyan Rover's navigation camera took a photo of uh, a large huge crater on the moon. ISRO so scientists do not want, uh, don't want the Pragyan to be fell in it and to be get completely destroyed. And here is the Shivashakti point which is, uh, Vikram lander has landed and the Pragyan's root map which is which have been moved 105 meters from the lander and the yellow yellow uh, substance which is found it is the LRS radius which takes the Pragyan rover's information get, getting to the Vikram lander. Rover on the ramp. When the rover rolls out from the lander, it will first it will uh, complete a stage of rover on ramp and successfully it deploys from the lander. A recent study reveals enhanced possibility of water ice on the lunar craters and general these research to found oxygen and oxygen and water on the lunar surface. Here is the differences between North Pole and South Pole. The elemental components are less compared uh, less on in North Pole compared to South Pole. The entropy table of North Pole and South Pole, the components are less in North Pole as compared to the entropy table of South Pole. Here is the landing 
taking photo of Vikram Lander. The Pragya rover on ran. The Pragya uh, finally deployed from the lander. Vikram has seen by Pragya the chase to takes uh, chase working and the infrared detector movements. And uh, the, on September third, ISRO had made the Vikram lander re to reland. This is known as a hop experiment done by ISRO. Here are the pictures of Pringo and the uh, Vikram lander. Vikram lander moved 40 to 50 centimeters from the landing site, which is actually known as Shivshakti point. And this is the post go picture. The Pragyan uh, moved uh, from the difficulty of the crater, so the ISRO scientists moved the, the Pragyan little bit back and changed their route. The Chandrayaan 3 is prepared for one lunar day, is prepared to 14 days on Earth. On September 4th, the ISRO has kept the Pragyan in sleep mode with the hope that Pragyan would wake up again, but uh, on September 22nd, ISRO tried to make the Pragyan wake up, but the efforts were lost. Gaganyan is a man flight. The, uh, this uh, mission is a prestigious four man mission. The, pra the four astronauts to be in Gaganyan mission are Prashambal Krishnanay, Agnar Pratap, uh, Agnar Pratap, Ajit Krishnan, Shubhanshu Shukla. We wish them all the best.